वेलकम टू इट्स टॉपिक सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट व्हाट इज एन एरे पार्ट्स ऑफ एन एरे हाउ टू डिक्लेयर एलिमेंट्स ऑफ एन एरे हाउ टू इनली इनिशियलाइज अ वैल्यू टू एन एरे एंड हाउ टू राइट अ सिंपल प्रोग्राम टू एक्सेप्ट द इनपुट एंड डिस्प्ले द आउटपुट टू द एरे हियर वी विल डिस्कस्ड हाउ वी कैन एक्सेस द एलिमेंट्स फ्रॉम एन एरे इन फ्रॉम अ स्पेसिफिक पोजिशन फॉर दैट फर्स्ट वे टू open code block we will open it and we will open the file that we have created recently so we'll go to recent file here i think we'll not get so directly i'll come here here we have the file array so we'll open it here is the simple program to accept and display the elements of an array suppose i don't required all the elements from the array i need only the first element from the array so this part will take for input so let it be same now i want to display the element at the first position so i'll write the statement as element the first element of the array so the first element of the array now we will display the value for that we can write percent d and here we are going to display the value of that from the array that means we will write the name of the array which is arr and within square bracket we will write zero because index zero is the first element of from the array so let's run the program here first element let be 3 6 7 4 3 so the first element of the array is 3 because i have entered the first element as 3 now suppose i want the third element third element means 3 minus 2 it will be 2 so we will write here 2 let's run the program again so the element are let be this so here the third element is 4 so the answer come the i should write here third the third element of the array is 4 now let's us do the second part displaying the odd or even elements from an array how we will do that first this part for taking input this will be remain same now we will write here the even element even elements of the array are now we are going to use for loop for i equal 0 i less than 5 then i plus plus inside the for loop we are going to use one if condition so if here we will write a r r within bracket i that means from 0 we will start till 4 we will go means all the number we are going to compare here and we'll divide the number by 2 means modulus 2 and we'll compare whether the remainder is 0 or not if it is 0 then we are going to print the number so we are going to use print if statement print f here we will write percent d and the value will be here a r r and in square bracket it will be i and after that semicolon now remember here if we want to display number together then just we can give one space after percent d then the quotation close and if we want to give the print the number in next line then we will write here slash n as i want to display all the number in one line so i am giving just one space now we'll compile the program build and run let enter the number 6 5 3 8 2 so the even elements of the array are 6 8 2 here you have seen 
the numbers are displaying in same line after the statement so, because I have not given here slash n. If I give a slash n, then the numbers will appear in the next line. Let's run the program again. Let's the number be 3, 9, 8, 4, 1. So the even elements of the array are 8 and 4. Now, if we want to display the odd numbers, this program is for even elements. Let me close the notification area. This program is to find the elements, find the even elements from the array. Okay, here this for loop we are using to take input and this for loop we are using to displaying the output. And if we don't want to display odd or even, uh, if we dis want to display all the elements, then we will not write this if part, we will direct write the printf part. But if we are going to display odd or even numbers, then we have to write also this line. Means we will compare the number, we will divide the number by 2 and compare whether it is 0 or 1. Now suppose I want to check whether num the number is odd or not. Means I am going to display only the odd number. So here we will write not equal 0. We can write not equal 0 or equal 1. Okay. Now let's run the program. Let be the number 5, 4, 9, 8, 2 and the even, it should be odd, not even. Let me correct it. Odd. Again, we'll run the program. 5, 4, 9, 2, 1. So the odd elements of the array are first it will divide 5 by 2 we will get a reminder means the remainder will be not 0 so it will print 5 next time again it will divide 4 by 2 there will be no reminder so it will not print again it will divide 9 it will get a reminder so it will print 9 again it will divide 2 by 2 no reminder so it will not print and at last 1 there will be one reminder so it will print 1 so the output will be 5 9 and 1 this how we can display odd or even elements from an array. Now we'll see how we can display odd index or even indexed element from an array. Suppose I want to display the even index element from the array. So the statement will be like that. The even indexed elements of the area are here we will not write the array element we will not write the array name we will write only the index name so we will write only i okay earlier for even or odd element we are writing the array name but here we will write only i means only index okay now we will run the program let me first enter the numbers 5 9 5 4, 2. So the even indexed element of the area. So even index, first one is 0. So it will uh, it will skip after data 1, then 2. So it will display only the third and it will display only the second and fourth element. So this will be the second one. And this is the fourth one. So we will, sorry. It is displaying 9 and 4 because of this one. My condition is wrong here. It should be double equal because we are displaying the even index. So my mistake. So let's run again. Let's the enter the elements. Here the output is 449 because though we are writing here 1 but it is 0. Okay. The first index of the array start from 0. So it will print and second index is 1. It will not print. Third index is it is 2. So it will print and this one is odd one. It will not print and last one even. So it will print the numbers. And for odd index 
the same thing we'll write here not equal then it will display the odd index odd index element of the array now we are going to the next topic displaying odd in this one we have done finding the sum of the elements of an array how we can find the summation of the elements of an array so for that first we will remove this part this part is not necessary here this part is necessary because this part we are taking for taking input this one just a statement to give a message and inside this for loop we will do the calculation we can do in this loop also but to make the program er, program easier we will do in another for loop the calculation now here we will need one another variable that is sum inside the sum variable we are going to store the result so again we will initialize the sum as 0 so sum equals 0 here inside the for loop we will write sum equal sum plus a r r and index i means each time when the loop runs we will add the value of the array to the sum at first it will be the zero index one so whatever will be in zero index it will be added to sum means if the number is one then it will like be zero plus one it is one again next time one plus whatever next numbers comes it will add like that and finally we'll get the all the elements summation inside the array and we'll get the result and we'll display the result outside of the array so here we will display print f the summation is percent d and the value of d is available here a sum variable so we'll write here sum semicolon now let's run the program enter first element 3 then 5 2 1 again 2 so these are my element the answer is coming the summation is 13 i have to cut this line from here this line is not necessary now so we will run the program again 5 4 1 0 2 so the summation is 12 let us let us check 5 plus 4 9 9 plus 1 10 10 plus 0 10 10 plus 2 it is 12 so the summation is 12 now suppose we have to do summation of odd or even numbers then how we will do the program here we don't have to do much just we have to write one statement before the sum here we have to write one statement if a r r i index then modulus 2 equal 0 then we will display this line we have to write that this uh, just one tab space or we can also write this statement inside bracket now let's see we'll compile the program let the element be 4 3 2 6 and 1 so the summation is 12 let's check 4 3 will be not added because odd 6 will added 1 will be not added so 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 6 12 the summation is 12 now if we want the odd summation of odd numbers then just simply instead of double equal we will write not equal let's run the program 3 2 1 9 5 so the summation is 18 let's see 3 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 9 13 13 plus 5 18 that's why the summation is 18 this how we can find out the summation of odd or even numbers from an array for today in this video we have learned how we can access the element in a specific order how we can find the odd or even elements from the array how we can find the even or odd indexed from the index element from the array and 
how we can find the summation of all the elements how we can find the summation of order even elements from the array in next video we will learn how we can find the maximum or minimum number from the array also how we can search a specific number from the array i hope you have uh, gained some knowledge from this video your doubts are clear regarding array if you like the video please click the like button and also subscribe to get notified about new videos of class 10 computer science thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye